we started Decaball, we had this vision to digitize card decks. As we, the more and more we got into the space, we've realized the opportunity is way bigger than that. I don't think when we began, we truly recognized that card decks were a medium, like, and a medium disrupts. It's an absolute hard fact. You look at music, the digital medium of Spotify completely disrupted the music industry. The digital medium of audiobooks, Audible, and Kindle completely disrupted the card, the, the book industry, right? Netflix disrupted streaming of TV, right? And card decks just got left behind. And, and, and my kind of perception as a technologist, because before this, I was co-founder of a startup called Listly, and lists are another medium, right? All of this is like, wow, here is this really cool format. And one of the things I've discovered there's a lot of people who love decks. And, and we did a little poll before for those people who arrived a little, a little bit late. There were people in the, this in the audience today who've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus decks. And if you ask those people why they love decks, this is not critical in any way. They probably don't have a clear answer because they've just bought one deck and another, 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 and they've fallen into loving decks, right? I found two distinct groups in, in, in all of our research with Deckable. There's the facilitator coach community who use decks and own a lot of decks. And then there's the tarot and oracle community who own and use a lot of decks. And we're like, whoa, this minute, these people are all using cards for the same reason. They don't really know it, right? And so Rosie and I have had, God, how many conversations, like back and forth, bit bits of information passing, the appreciation of short form media the recognition of how we all learn as a learning medium. So the potential to deliver Deckable as a card deck, as a course, as a downloadable PDF that you can actually use. I mean, who's downloaded a workbook? They're always offered in our stream, right? And then you don't even know where it is on your desktop. Then, right? like, it just don't work. It, it, it was wonderful in the 1990s, get yeah. my decade right, right? When we all sat at our computer, a PDF was amazing. But now... The PDF, I want to actually answer the questions that are in the workbook. Where do I, I'm not going to put, the, I'm not going to type those into a PDF, right? So all of these problems we see as the same, and that's what the magic of Deckable is. And, um, you know, so I'm going to dive in now and kind of take you through that. But for those of you who haven't, who, who's used Deckable, who's got Deckable installed? Show of hands. And um, there's a whole bunch of apps on deck, de decks on Deckable that are free if you haven't got them. You can just go to Deckable slash marketplace slash free and they're all there. And I want to just congratulate um because Jennifer's here and Jennifer just yeah. published a deck on Deckable, gorgeous deck. It Grace is. is in the middle of uh in the new class right now and getting ready to publish her deck on Deckable. Yeah, I think so. I think you know, uh, is getting ready to publish her deck on Deckable and Lou has his deck on Deckable. I think and Jennifer, you're uh, you're into your I see your second deck started, I think, somewhere. That's second probably. deck and app testing. Yeah. Thank you guys. An amazing I, honestly I loved I'm gonna I'm, if I get a chance, I'll sh I'll show your deck today because I thought it was really, really great. It's very um, cool. I think and, Lou has his hand up also. Yeah, Lou. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I hit it by accident. But oh, okay. I, I do have I have my <laughs> Physical deck, but I was just thinking how much more versatile a right. digital deck is than the physical deck. And, and the honest weird thing, out of the two camps that I've talked about, the Tarot and Oracle camp, there's a feeling in some of those people that I need to hold the deck in my hands. I'm going to charge the deck with energy. It's a belief because the same belief applies digitally. What really matters because when you go to a reader or you do your own reading, the only person who brings meaning to you that puts the story into your life and makes it come true is you, right? You're, the, the internal story, the cards just set you up to let that story come into you, right? And that's kind of the magic of card decks for me. And I've learned so much about why card decks are magical. I don't think I understood it when we started. I'm still learning month on month. We keep coming up. I keep coming with more revelations. And that's why on, if you look at deckable.com, we describe card decks as being like short form, loose leaf books, short form media. And some people might go, what, what's that? I thought it was, we're just trying to describe the power that card decks bring. And when you make them all pocket sized, it's fun and engaging. Because if, you, if, you, if it's not fun and engaging, you get to the exact spot that Rosie talked about where 90 plus percent of people do not finish your book, right? 
The good thing about a deck is you shuffle it up. There is no start, no end. You don't need to finish it. But do people revisit the deck and come and draw a card again? It's snackable, right? Love By that. Making- you don't need to finish right. it, so you don't have right. the pressure on yourself. That right. like, oh, I don't have the time because I need to finish a whole chapter. Or I need to finish a whole this or a whole module. It's like so you me- can finish in 30 seconds. Exactly. So you, you what we're giving you is a tool for you to sell to your customers that makes your information snackable inside their daily routine, right? That just sit and think with that for a minute, right? The biggest advice I would give everyone who's in this group today is start using Deckable today and use it for your own personal daily practice. Go and buy half a dozen decks on Deckable. Don't use your own deck because that will bias you. You can add your deck into the mix as well, but use other people's decks. You will see what is your daily practice, right? We could talk for an hour about daily practice. Your daily practice will be different than anybody else's, and your daily practice will be different in six months' time because you change. Life changes you, right? So the idea of having this with you, you're building healthy habits, and that's really the deep magic of card decks.